Welcome once again. You're with me, Mildred Pedun. We do start off with the family of the late Dr. Paul Samuel Gedede that has unveiled for a tentative plan for his funeral, which is set for Monday in his home in Natale, in Inkumba, in Tebe. Family, friends, and well wishers are gathering at his home in Lubaga for a requiem mass to pray for his repose. Meanwhile, we turn to a story we carried in 2016 where we spoke to Dr. Samuel Gedede on what had gone wrong on Uganda's politics. Sudhir so Rihanga narrates the story. In 1961, founding president of the Democratic Party, Bendicto Chiwanka, won the first elections in Uganda to form the internal self-government in readiness for independence a year later. But Chiwanka's win rubbed Uganda the wrong way since they preferred a monarchical system. All these people, the, the, the Katichiro, the under the ministers, the chiefs, were opposed to those elections in 1961. Uh, the extent of uh, harassing and persecuting uh, those who stood for went to participate in those elections. The Baganda felt that Chuanka, a fellow Muganda, had betrayed his own. My dear told the Baganda were misled uh, conceptually about the whole idea of uh, national political parties uh, because of uh, indoctrination from above. As such, DP and its leader Chwanuka were seen as enemies of Buganda Kingdom. Some of our people were killed. Sure. Yes, I was almost, almost killed myself. Oh. The day the Kwaka came back from Lancaster Conference, people were waiting for me with spears. <laughs> with the support of the British, Buganda loyalists later formed the Kawaka Yeka Party. This was after Buganda struck a deal in Lancaster, London, with Apollo Milton Obote, who pledged to promote their interests. Obote later married a Muganda lady Miriam Obote to win the trust of Baganda. And people were, as it were, inducted into this organization, which was controlled by the chiefs from top down. Kabaka Yika, Kabaka Yika, Kinga, no one knows. It was very difficult, a very bad time. Then the one man vote concept was introduced. Dr. Semo Gere argues that just like it was then, the creation of districts and constituencies is an act of gerrymandering in favor of the ruling NRM party. It's very easy to manipulate uh, the, 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 the votes using the state uh, functionaries, the other DCs and so on, to control the electoral system, the electoral process of the whole district. Dr. Semo Gere, who was then DP president, lost the controversial 1980 elections to UPC's Milton Oboti. He says the scale and intensity of violence and interference by state agencies was worse in 1980 compared to 1961. With the selection and raising of a flag, the singing of a national anthem, and the display of a coat of arms. I gave an example, for instance, in, the, in, in the South Bukedi. Uh, four of our members, leaders in the Democratic Party, were arrested soon after the elections because the declared winner of the elections feared felt insecure. He says the Electoral Commission was biased and the DP officials cared that their jobs would be taken by DP loyalists who had studied abroad on scholarships. On what lessons Uganda can pick from the past elections, Dr. Semogere recommends that the country emulates Kenya, Ghana, and Germany, especially on the appointment of the Electoral Commission to guarantee its independence. Where the Electoral Commission there is appointed, it is appointed by the President on advice of the State Council. Not, not just in the consultation, but on the advice of the State Council. In 1996, Dr. Semogere and Chivije Mayanja challenged President Yoweri Museveni in the general election, but he claims he was again ticked out. He claims that the National Voters Register was inflated just like it was done for the Constituent Assembly elections of 1994. <laughs> right? If they would tell you the truth, there were the architects, right? You go and, and you, 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 you practice how to cast ten ballots as if you are casting one. And with the Chivera in place, it was easy. Therefore, can the opposition guard its fault in their struggle to capture power in 2016? All opposition candidates have failed to defend their vote, right from 1961. Although
Although Dr. Semogere says Uganda's democratization process has seen some gains, other scholars feel that the commercialization of politics will undermine the democratic dividend. State money, public money, has been used in favor of the uh, ruling party. The opposition generally and the FDC, they have failed to put up candidates everywhere. Because you go there and say, start, give me money. Go and mobilize where is the money. There have also been sticky questions on financing elections, both at the national and individual levels. On many occasions, the Electoral Commission Chairman Dr. Badru Chigund has given assurance that the Commission is independent in the face of intense criticism from the opposition, which doubts ECE's impartiality. The mode of appointment of the Commission is the main area of contention where the President handpicks the Commissioners with the approval of Parliament. It has been recommended that Uganda should adopt the Ghanaian model where the independence of the Electoral Commission is never in doubt. DBR Hanga, NTV.